Hey guys, this is Gardens and welcome to our tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the content details. So we're going to talk about things like uh, the density, velocity, turbulence, temperature, fuel, and color. Okay. Um, we're going to learn what some of these things do and we're also going to play around with them and see what we can create from that. The first thing we're going to do before anything is to close up these windows that we've got open. So, and we're going to go ahead and open the content details density. So, um, when that opens up, we're going to have density and that's the first thing we're going to talk about. Now, the default setting of density is 0 0.5 and Autodesk recommends not to go anywhere beyond 0 0.5. So before we go any any further, I'm going to change something in the content uh, in the content method. That way you can see exactly what the density scale does. All right. So go to content method and change the density um, density from dynamic grid to gradient. All right. Close that. So when you take it to um, gradient, I'm going to change it to gradient. That way you can have a better idea of what the density scale is. So. Um, with a with a with a gradient set on here, you'll be able to see what the density scale does. So it uh, it's pretty much like opacity. So you're changing the opacity of the of the smog or the fluids as we know it. Okay, we're gonna change the opacity. If we do, if we go anywhere beyond five, if we go anywhere beyond five, it would just be a solid mass, and that's not what we want. We want somewhere close, like something like that all right but again i'm going to take it to the default value of 0.5 now that's what the density scale is so let's go let's go back around and change this from gradient to dynamic grid that way you've already understood what density scale is so the buoyancy by default is set to one and that means the value is higher than the value of these empty voxels around here. The value of this um, fluid is higher than the value of these empty voxels around here. So for that reason the, the, the fluid is gonna rise, alright? So now let's just uh, move these um, fluids emitters up. Now when you move them up you have the um, you have the option of actually changing the buoyancy to a negative buoyancy. That way, these empty voxels around here will be heavier than the fluid, and thereby making the fluid to sink. All right. So let's go minus one and see what happens. Okay, that's what happens. The fluid actually sinks. Dissipation, this means how long before the fluid dissipates into nothing, all right? The dissipation at the moment is set to zero. So, um, the fluid in this container will continue accumulating. It will not dissipate to nothing, all right? So, let's uh, increase the frame to maybe um, 300. Now, if I play this, if I play this, you notice that the fluid is just collecting in, t in the fluid container. So dissipation will mean, okay, the fluid will actually dissipate into the air. It will just fade away. So it will see, as you can see, the fluid is dissipating around, the, around there. Now, diffusion is not the same as dissipation. So if I crank that up, you will notice it will not remain in the nice tight stream. It will actually blend in much faster. So let's crank. Let's uh, again play that and see what happens. It's actually um, dissipating at the moment. But if I crank up the diffusion, if I crank up the diffusion to maybe eight, right? See what's going to happen. See, it's actually diffusing much faster. You know, it's disappearing, it's dissipating far much quicker than having completely no diffusion. So these two, um, um, these two working together can make a very good, um, good effect. We can say, okay, dissipa dissipation, put it to maybe um, one, right? 
dissipation to one, then diffusion to maybe um, three, all right? That will cause a, a thick smoke, then diffuses, all right? That's um, the type of effect you would get if you actually mix the two, dissipation and diffusion. However, the combination of dissipation and diffusion will depend entirely on the type of effect you're trying to create. For example, if you're trying to create a smoke effect, you might want to add some diffusion and less dissipation. On the other hand, cigarette smoke might need a very low diffusion, okay? Because you want, you want the, the smoke to be nice and thick, nice and thick, then dissipates slowly. That's how smoke um, that's how the smoke in the cigarette works. Nice and thick, then eventually dissipates into the air. So it depends entirely on what you're trying to create. Now, um, this one, noise, this bad boy here, noise, we'll look at uh, density pressure and density, and density pressure threshold later on. But with the noise, noise is another way of, let's just uh, take the diffusion back to zero, okay, and do that. So, noise noise is actually adding noise to your for example how i would explain noise would be the difference between someone with a smooth skin and someone with pimple pimply skin all right so that that's my that's my um the best uh, explanation i can give at, like right now um the person with a pimply face who have noise on their face. Let's just face it, okay, guys? So that one who's got, who's got a smooth face who have completely no noise on their face. So that's exactly what noise is. In this case, in um, Maya terms, noise would be, uh, if I add completely no noise, you see, you notice the smoke is smooth, all right? But if I add some noise, let's say six, 0 0.69, 0 0.69, see what happens. So there's noise in that, all right? So if I go ahead and, uh, nah, let me not render it, it will waste too much time. Um, if I add maybe, uh, let's say about 3, 0 0.3, you'll notice there isn't much noise, but there still is noise in there. There's like thick bits, you know, there's thick bits around here and around the other areas, it's so nice and smooth all right so before i do anything i have to turn this back to default all right dissipation turn turn it down why not let's close that and move on to velocity with the velocity you notice that the xyz value and the o uh, 1.0 1.0 and 1.0 respectively you will notice there will be a lot of there's a lot of things going on in here so if I go ahead and play the, sim the smoke simulation right now, you will notice that it's coming in one tight stream, sort of spreading, uh, sort of spreading slowly, then it accumulates at the bottom. But if I increase the velocity scale, the y value of this velocity scale to uh, 5, all right, and go ahead and play this again, you notice you we're going to get a hole. It's gonna drag straight to the bottom, then bang accumulates at the bottom and spreads around. So that's what the um that's what the velocity scale does. So you can sort of stretch it one way or the other, or um, uniformly. It's up to you. It's up to you exactly what you're after. This this can uh, simulate better with velocity draw. If I actually um if I actually stop this and move to um, uh, display and say okay I want the velocity draw you will notice how the um, the arrows are so long and hit the ground because they're, they're like dragging all the way to the ground hit the ground and turn direction that's how it works as compared to before so see what happens dragging all the way down we can um if we close the display and add some swirl in the in the simulation see the the swirl will actually swirl this up will like mix it all up all right 
So let's go ahead and uh, play the simulation once again. See how they're all like sort of going everywhere, mixing it all up. That's the swirl. You can also um, increase the swirl to um, whatever you want. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, do and uh, do the simulation again. You will see what we're actually achieving. There we go. That's the swirl. And again, it depends if you are simulating a, a like smoke or dust dust coming from I don't know somewhere with force. That's what you would um, add as well. All right. So noise is another factor that we can actually um, add. We can add noise to this, and you sort of achieve different um, effects. Let's go. Let's go back and uh, actually turn off the the velocity draw. When you add noise. See, it won't be as smooth. It won't be as smooth as no noise. Of course, it's got it's got a little bit of swirl, but and again, you can actually mix the the swirl and everything everything that we've learned in here with the dissipation. That way, you don't get um, the fluid to collect too much. Okay. You can add the um, dissipation that way, goes up and dissipates in the air. There you go. Now let's put this one back to default. Everything back to default. I like to just some good housekeeping, you know. That way you don't end up getting a different um, outcome from different things that we try in Maya. Now, turbulence. This is a way to add turbulence to your fluid, okay? If you want to add turbulence to your fluid, simply click the uh, turbulence drop down menu. You can add turbulence, let's say, let's go again and simulate that, okay? But if you add turbulence, if you increase the strength of the turbulence, we will achieve, look what happens, look at what we're going to achieve, alright? And again, you can crank it up to as much as you want, depending on what you're looking for. The frequency is a none to high, none to high. So, um, so if I crank the frequency, I'm going to uh, get a faster turbulence. Let me just crank it up to maybe um, seven, so I can get a faster turbulence. See. I'm achieving the turbulence early, okay? I'm achieving the turbulence early, earlier than um, how it would be if I had no frequency whatsoever. Let so let's go ahead and decrease the frequency. You'll see what I uh, what I mean by by um by that. See. So it's just dropping down. There's no frequency. There's no like uh, turbulence happening at all. We, like the turbulence is really slow. Like you know. So the frequency will add the, the the frequency of the turbulence pretty much. With the speed, you are just telling the fluid how fast you want this um, the the um, the fluid to react. So we can say okay, add this much turbulence. See what's gonna happen. Now you want the, the reaction to be quick. That's the speed. Look at that. You've added the speed. You want the reaction to be quick and crazy. That's what you're gonna achieve. So yeah, play around with those ones, and as soon as you're happy with them, let's move on to um, temperature, fuel, and the other and the rest of the the rest of the shebang.